I'm William Mitchell, Design Director here at 4C Design. We're a product design and engineering consultancy based in Glasgow. We are in the business of making ideas valuable and that is turning people's ideas into something commercial and that's the whole process. We might get somebody who comes in the door and says I've got an idea, I just can't get my head around it, I want to see it, um, you know, get some idea how that might look. Well. It's a simple pencil sketch, you know, it's on a piece of paper, it doesn't take long, but it's just about translating what they're telling us into something that is visual. They, they can then turn that drawing around to somebody and say, this is what I'm trying to do, I need some money. So that releases capital. And then they can come in and they can do the next stage, which is all about the validation. It's all about, does it work? How's it gonna work? Let's get down to the workshop and bash something together. We have got a sort of mixture of engineers and product designers and what that does is it means that we can approach every project from a very sort of practical perspective. The next stage for that is to really um, sort of nail down all the specification and then start to think about how we're going to put this thing together, how it's going to look, how people are going to interface with it. And then it's all about taking that idea and commercialising it, you know, let's make it you know, makeable, uh, you know, let's talk to manufacturers, put this in front of them and say, well, how would you make that? It's really that whole process across a wide range of industries. When we venture out on this design journey, we want to sort of strategically plan if there are changes along the journey. The way we kind of express that is by building this very simple diagram, which has money, time and specification this being your product and if we look at time, time invariably is a big driver for projects and one of the key reasons for that can be a product launch date, it can be a seasonal, it can be a, a, a trade show. So in that case we need to be prepared to compromise a little bit on the spec, maybe actually have to compromise a little bit on budget but you know, this is the thing that really matters. So we have to have a, a degree of contingency for these things and it's always quite nice to have the, the diagram here as a kind of, you know, a benchmark. We were asked to develop a system for a, a cosmetics company. They have a tanning solution which they developed the solution a bit further so that they could actually spray it on and the only system that they could find for actually delivering this product was to use an off-the-shelf spray gun which you can buy in any DIY store and there was a hose with air pressure fed into the back and away you go, it was quite heavy. The hose coming out the back would sort of bump into their arm. This was not a feel-good product in this state. It was intimidating almost so the girls were picking it up and didn't really like the feel and, and, and the weight of the product and anybody having it pointed at them didn't particularly appreciate it either. The brief for us was to look at the complete product and how do we package it in a gun that's fit for purpose. We do a thing called primary research into parallel products. Now these are a spray hose from a garden hose, maybe looking at the, the spray guns that the automotive industry use and just trying to get some hints and tips from them. It's a fundamental part of the process in terms of getting a feel for the product. So we thought, well, things that will make it simpler, we don't pressurise the feed, we just have a gravity feed so we can have a bottle sitting up here. We'll bring the air in from underneath, that will mean the hose drops down, it means it's a lot easier to use. This was a prototype that we lashed up in our workshop which was just to prove the principles. We just stuck an iron brew bottle on the end of that and, and uh, filled it with a tanning solution. And you can see, you know, we've taken a bit of standard hose, we've uh, taken some bits of the original gun, we've found some metal work and we've screwed it together. And the whole point of this exercise is to make all your mistakes at this stage and fail fast and often basically. And you know, you might run about five, maybe even six versions of this just cobbling together what you can with the whole point of learning from each one. And the more you learn and the more you document that and the more you photograph it and film it, the more 
the process becomes easier later on because you're starting to build up the constraints that you need in order to build a successful product. And this product actually worked and demonstrated the principle. I've seen a drum pedal that was built with Lego parts and tractor bits and I just thought it's a beautiful piece of art. And you know, the guy was incredibly embarrassed about it and I thought, no, you just can't be. It's progress, it's about moving to the end goal and keeping that in sight. So I think this is a wonderful stage of the project. Having delivered that, it's a case of, right, well, what's this thing going to start to look like? And we came up with a few ideas and started to sketch them out. So we started to work up in our workshop um, these kind of things, which are, you know, just to get the handle feel, to feel where the trigger might be, um, you know, really crude, just using very, very uh, simple modelling foam. Obviously bearing in mind that we've now got a layout that we know works, so we have to work out hose is going to go here, cartridge here. So we can refine that a little bit, get a better feel for it, feel that there's a nice nesting at the back of the hand here. The cartridge can come in and off and all that. You've got a hose going in the bottom and can really start to get an idea of how the whole weight of it's distributed. And already we've got a nice feel for it. When we start to refine this design, we can look at, right, what about taking it into CAD, let's get it into this computer-aided drafting package, let's get it all modelled up. And with that data, we can just send it down to our workshop and get a foam model machined. Now this is a, a higher density foam than this. It's cheap and it's just a thing to get a kind of line in the sand and say this is what we're building. Immediately everybody said it's too big. And you don't find that out until you get it in your hands. So learning from that, we move on to the more refined design. This prototype was actually used in a, a trade show um, down in London and ran for three days, did 300 um, uh, spray tans. And uh, you know, you can see it's a little battle scar, but it did, the, it did the job and we were able to take some of that knowledge and refine the design with it a bit more. After prototyping, basically we've tooled up for this. So each component is now being made separately from the injection molded tools. And this is the, you know, one of the first off the tool uh, plastic products. And it's got a real, you know, compared to the original, it's a much lighter product. The hose clips into the bottom, so it's a quick release. You can take the, the hose out, give it a rinse through to clean it. You can unscrew the bottle, clicks in, ready to go. The feedback from this has been really good. Um, you know, the, the, the girls enjoy using it. it. It feels a lot better, it flows a lot nicer. I think the, um, the thing to, to, uh, to bear in mind going through this process is if you look at this journey which is laid out here, it's only at this point here that we even get involved in a, a computer aided drafting package. I mean before then it's all hands on, it's all about building the, the product, testing it, um, you know, finding the right feel, solving all the engineering problems. I think it's, uh, it's all about just pacing that project out, you know, the, the end goal will always, will always get there, it's just maybe it's going to take a bit longer if you just spend a bit more time here um, and ultimately you end up with a much more satisfying outcome.